Okay, to the point, Mike Walker, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, this came in on a very busy day, so I can't spend the time on I want. Let's either do it now or four days from now. So it's gonna happen now. This is Zomicide, there you go. Zomicide, Black Plague, second wave. Let's crack this open, see what we got. One of these things where I can not remember how much I got. I know I didn't get everything. The time they're done, they had like 20 different uh, guest packs. So yeah, I don't have, anyway, yeah. So first we have special guest. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to uh, show you the boxes and what's in here. I'm gonna quickly crack them open and show you what's in each one of the 3D doors. Black Plague is a zombie killing game. And uh, it only came with the base character, so everyone's been anxiously waiting this because they actually did a really good job on it. Everyone's been having a lot of fun playing it. There's this, oh yeah, I think a really bad, okay, I don't wanna say bad, but it is a really bad dice tower, but it was one of the stretch goals. Extra bases. Be good to like put on. The reason I got the most from the special zombies, I think I have like so many on the board, you can't tell where the necromancer is. So I actually have to, and I got them without even knowing. So glad I did. So we can mark the special zombies. There's one I got just for Thread alone. The hobby grew up reading Thread the Barbarian. I'm not sure if most people even know who that is. Maybe they still do it. This has to be wrong. I did not plan to get this. I know I didn't get that. I don't know if that's extra or whatever. I'm missing one that I did order. Extra dice. Great. Now I'm going to have to check my uh, listing. There's a, I think that's the Crom, and yeah, that's one the gaming group guy wanted me to get that for him. What else do we have for goodies in here? Yeah, like, I wonder what I'm missing. There's another one that I, I did not get. I hope I didn't get somebody else's. I know I definitely got this one. But other than that, Hero Box. So like I said, I'm gonna show you what's in here. Goodness. Kind of exploded when I opened it. I'll show you more of that later. Oh my goodness. Alright, these are the abominations, the three new special ones. Let's hope you're not supposed to put all three in ports. Different kinds of NPCs. Notorious plague characters. Yeah. I did not order those. And I don't even, I don't think they're a Kickstarter stretch goal. So now I'm gonna have to go check and see what I did order. So I did get these, so I did I know I ordered these. So I got something to end for this. So Wolfsburg that introduces wolves. Abomination Wolf, so they start running. So as they're running away, that's when the Dead Eye Walkers will come out, Undead Bowmen, and shoot them. So I love this game because you buy expansions to make it harder for you. Yeah, you know, it doesn't make much sense, but how it goes. And then as you jump into the buildings to get away from Dead Walkers, that's when the crows come. And then there's just one last mystery box. A night pack, it says. I wonder what I'm missing. Well, I got the two that I wanted, it looks like. I don't want to throw the Barbarian and uh, Adrian Smith's packs. There, that was the one I really wanted. But these other ones, I don't remember. I'll have to go look. Oh. 
kidding me? Okay, I know the rat troll thing was gonna be big, but oh my god. Like, that is amazing. Look at that thing. Okay, wow. What else you got in here? This is kind of neat too. Looks like some sort of another kind of rat. Giant claws. More heroes. Another necromancer. Okay, look at that rat abomination is incredible. More character cards. So we got uh, besieged, you can see behind me there. So we got a few extra characters, but now we are going to have a million extra characters. So yeah. So I'll open up some of these boxes so you get a closer look at what's in them. And then uh, we'll be back and then I'll decide whether or not I'm gonna do the close-ups now or tonight. Cause I gotta like drive for like six hours. So this came in a box by itself. It's a giant wrap thing. And it's at one, two, three, four, five, six liters, and another necromancer, it looks like. Oh, I've the microphone again. Get it up here so you can hear me breathing like Darth Vader again. That's the way we roll. Some more character cards. More, uh, probably the necromancer monster cards. Two full trays. Looks like extra wolves, even. More fatties, even more dice. Two sets of black dice. I'll take it, whatever. Probably a bunch of alternate sculpts. Ooh, dice bag, white bases. Way. This stupid dice tower thing. I don't want to say it's stupid, you know, they didn't have to give us anything. It looks like there's two different stickers that you can put on it, so they'll be useful for something. And you open it up and you just drop the dice in. Out they pop. It's not terrible, it's free, so how can you really complain? This is the Paul Bonner box one. I don't know if this is even worth these unboxing these ones, but anyway, there seems to be way more character cards there that than there needs to be. Seems odd. Wonder if there's a whole bunch of like alternate art on them or something. There's at least like 30 cards in there for four characters. That's odd. Be interested to see what that is. I'll let you know later. And the other thing is that there's only. There's only one base in here. Do the other guys come with colored bases? I don't remember. Yeah, they did. Yeah, there's only one colored base. I guess you just use the other colors. Anyway, for the big guy. I guess they wouldn't come with other bases. Next, this is the one by Nad... Ne Sorry, I'm gonna screw that name. Niad. Niad. Yeah, that guy. With Apprentice Milo and Thundergut and so yeah, even more Necromancer cards in there. Same thing again. This super thick character card bundle. I wonder what that's all about. There's those guys. Let's throw this stuff back in. I'm really interested to see. Is it is it like uh, maybe it's you know what it is? I bet you it's just alternate languages. They probably just yeah. See there it is. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. It's not gonna be anything fancy. It's just all the different languages. Next, I'm gonna open this one up. It's just Grom and Thad. I'll show you close-ups of those later. Two more. Heroes in there, 3D doors. This is going to be messy. It's one of the classic old board game open from top bottom boxes. Everything's just going to pour out. I know it. But the 
good part is it looks like the bases that they come on are nice and wide, so they're not going to be falling all over the place. Oh good, there is an insert in here, good. Not, it's not going to be as messy as I thought. Oh, that's neat. So they even have colored doors, so you can set the objective doors up and stuff. And I'd probably, you know, even keep it in this. It seems fairly sturdy, we'll see. That'll be side later. Oh. See, like, this is kind of exciting, because look at the difference in the thickness between these two boxes. This is the one that Grom Thread the Barbarian, I should say, is going to be in. So, hopefully it's super thick, because he's going to be massively huge. We will see. Because if it's anything surprising like that rat ogre thing, oh my god, I'm still blown away by that. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Once again, giant pack of cards, because you have to have one for every language. Yeah, I will, I'll pull it out now. Like I said, we'll do close-ups later. This is going to be a ridiculously long video. Rendering time. Two hours. That's okay. Next, oh, Adrian Smith. This is the one that I was not going to miss out on. These guys are like super gritty looking. Maybe I should just go faster through this stuff because you really can't see anything. It's just more character cards, more characters. Doesn't really make for it too interesting to watch. I won't bother opening these up then. It's because the same. It's going to be the same sort of thing. It's going to be more leaders and more same with this. More heroes. More cards. Like I said, until I do close-ups, there's no point opening this stuff. This, on the other hand, we'll crack this open just so we can see how it's packed inside. Finally, more items. Look at that. That's nice to see for a change. English is not on the top. All the others were English on the top. It's nice to see. Anyway, these are all the, like, the carnival type guys. Notorious plagued characters. Alright. And the big bag of white faces. I got so much flack the last few months with from the group with them knowing that these guys were coming enemies that shoot back at you it's like a uh, muffin they've been having such a easy time of it I don't think they should complain at all there's way more in here than I thought there was that's awesome is that 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 24 yeah that's awesome then looks like a rule book, which is handy. Crows. Yeah, that was the other thing, you know, is see Wolfsburg has been in the stores for the last few weeks and it was kind of frustrating knowing that your cup oh wow. These guys are always already in the normal Zombicide, so it's not too much new. Even more cards. Add to the deck and a rule book. And these are really, it's surprising that uh, everything is in a nice box except for those 3D doors, which is odd. Not that it matters, but it's odd that they switch. Probably came from a completely different company. That's probably why. Zombie Bosses, the Abomination Pack. So if these are anything like that rat zombie, man. And they are. Oh my god. A Blobination. Ok, 
Okay, yeah, no, I want to take them out to show you, but they will be close-ups later. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like they even come with uh, terrain. Look at that, there's like a little sprue of walls or something inside the bag there, see it? Alright, that's neat. Sorry for the noise in the background. Since we're in a hurry, we'll just have to put up with it. And then we have uh, the last box, Wolfsburg. Tiles, whole bunch of doors. Oh, this is nice. Look, it's got the uh, black, black backing. Wolves and four heroes. And the wolf. Four more trays. That's empty. New colors. Yeah, look at the super high back spacing. So you know how much how much did this box this is all empty on the bottom so the box could have been that big for Wolfsburg size of a because look even with even with using this thing that's way bigger than it needs to be it's still which is fine because you have to fit the map tiles in anyway so all right, that's all I'm going to do. All right, so the hell drive's over. I have, uh, I think I've rigged up something here that will keep the figures in focus. So I don't have to keep doing it. I am not gonna go through every figure. I picked out some of the ones that I thought were halfway cool. So we're just gonna do those. And that'll be that. Or the new fatties. He's holding in his guts, that's awesome. I wonder if I can zoom in. No, no, that's not gonna work. Bring it closer, maybe. Uh, Alright, and then let's see the new Conan and Red Sonya. Let's see what it's like with this light off here. So bright. Is that going to be too dark? No, that's probably better though. And then the red Sonia, there she is. There's just too many. Uh, it like gives it a little more contrast, probably. So you can see more detail. We'll leave the light on. And the new Dead Walkers, just three different poses. Yeah, I'm sorry if I don't gonna get the hero that you wanna see, but like I said, I'm not gonna make this like a two hour video of spinning figures, so. Just so people get an idea what's in wave two. I'm not going to show any of the cards or anything, so if you're waiting to see cards, 
I'm not gonna show any of the cards. Let's do thread. This thread's awesome. And what else do I get? Oh, one of these guys. What is your favorite color? What else do I get? Oh, yeah, this guy. That's enough of these guys. Any of the other ones that I thought were decent? Yeah, these, I love these, this whole pack. These guys are awesome. Yeah, so I figured out what it was before. Like all those extra packs I had in the box, they were just the stretch goals that they've pre-packaged so they can sell them later. They look like uh, artist packs, but they're just all the stretch goal heroes. So nothing extra, which is fine. All right. Good enough now for the big guys. I don't think they're gonna fit with this thing here. I'm gonna have to hold the camera. I didn't bring my tripod, so. Oh. That's awesome. A bomb troll. Sorry the lighting's so bad here. There's nothing can be done about it. Make do with what you got. That's the Obama Troll. And then the Minotaur Abomination. And the one with the claws, we already saw him earlier today. And then the best one of all, this guy. I wish I could do a better job of showing these guys. But. That guy is amazing. I choose no. All right. So that is Zombicide. Wave two.